Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create the split design for your website. So here we can see when the visitor visits your homepage, they will have two options. And here we can see this is the first option and this is the second option. And they can go ahead and choose any of these options and proceed with that section. And we can also see that the width of the section changes when you hover over that section. And we also have the learn more button displayed. So this is what we're going to design in this video. Let's get started. Right, I have opened up a folder called split homepage in VS Code and I also have a folder over here called images where we have these two images and we're going to use these in our design. So let's start by creating an HTML file. So let's click on this new file button and let's create a file and we'll just name it index.html. Let's create one more file for the CSS. I'll just type style.css and let's start with the index.html file and in VS Code you can just type exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. And let's also link our CSS file over here. So I'll just type link and uh, in the href I'll just type style.css. Right now let's create a division to hold everything. So let's give it a class of main container. And in that we'll have two divisions, one for the left part and one for the right part. So let's create a division with a class of left. And then we will have one more division with the class of right. Now in these divisions we need to have a heading and a paragraph. So let's create a division for that. I'll just create a division with a class of text content. And in that we'll have an H2. And uh, for the first one, I'll just type WordPress. And uh, let's create a paragraph. And for the paragraph, I'll just type learn to work with WordPress websites. And let's just copy this text content from here. And I'll just paste it over here in the right section. And here we'll just type blogger. And uh, here we'll just change this paragraph. Right now let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension called live server installed on VS Code. So I can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. So here we can see we have the two sections and now let's style it. So let's go over here to our style.css file. And first of all, let's remove all the default margins. So I'll just type asterisk to select everything and I'll just type margin zero. Now we can see that we don't have any default margin. Right now let's target the main container which is this outer division. So let's type main container and we'll set the width to 100% and the height to 100 viewport height which is 100% height of the screen. And we'll also set the font family to Roboto. And now here you can see that these two sections are one below the other. We want them to be one next to the other so for that we can use display of flex. So let's type display flex and now here you can see both the sections are one next to the other and now let's target the left and the right divisions. So here I'll just type main container left and main container right and now we want to have full width for both of these sections. So we want both of them to have half width each of the screen. So let's type flex of one. This line of code will give equal width to both the elements. So here we can see both of them have the same width and we also want to bring these elements to the center of this division. So for that let's set the display to flex and type align items to the center and justify content to the center. So this will center it vertically and horizontally. Now we can see both the text content is at the center. Now let's add a background image to these sections. So let's type background and here we need to type URL and here we'll just pass the URL of the image. So it is inside the images folder and uh, let's select the first image. And now we can see we have the first image as the background. We will change the background of the right section later but for now let's focus on the left part. Now let's set the background size to cover so that more of the image is seen. So let's type background size and we'll set it to cover. And let's also position the image to the center. So let's type background position and we'll set it to center. Right now let's change the background color of the right section. So let's type main container right and we'll set the background URL to the second image. So I'll just type images forward slash 2.jpg. Right now let's style the heading. So let's type main container h2 and we'll set the font size to 60 pixels 
and let's set the font weight to 900 and now let's style the paragraph so let's type main container p and we'll set the font size to 20 pixels now we need to change the color of the text on the right side so here i just type main container right and i'll just set the color to white now it looks all right now we also need to add the button so let's go back to our html and uh, after the paragraph let's create an anchor tag and let's give it a class of btn and uh, here i'll just type learn more and let's copy this button from here and we'll paste it for the next section as well all right now let's style the buttons so let's go over here to style.css and uh, let's target the btn class so i'll just type main container btn and let's set a background color of rgba because we'll also have some opacity so i'll just type 255 255 255 and 0.7 so this will have a white color with some opacity and now let's add some padding we'll just add a padding of 12 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right and let's remove the underline so i'll just type text decoration and we'll just set it to none and now you can see that the button is on top of the paragraph that's because our button is an anchor tag and anchor tags are inline elements by default so we have to change it to inline block so let's type display of inline block now we can see that the button is below the paragraph let's also add some margin top so let's type margin top of 24 pixels now let's change the color of the text so i'll just type color of dark gray and we'll also have a box shadow we'll set the values to 0 4 pixels 16 pixels negative 4 pixels rgba 0 0 0 and 0 0.3 Right now we don't want to display this button by default we want to display it whenever we hover over any of these sections so here in the button i'll just type opacity and we'll set it to zero and uh, let's type main container left colon hover and uh, let's type btn and uh, let's also add the selector for the right section so i'll just type comma main container right colon hover btn and we'll set the opacity back to one and let's also add a transition for smooth animation and let's see whether it works here we can see that the button is displayed on the left section and if you go to the right section the button is displayed on the right section so whenever we hover over any of these sections the button is displayed right now the last thing we need to do is whenever we hover over any of these sections we want to change the width of that section so let's go back to our CSS and here we can see for the left and the right sections we have given a flex of 1 which gives equal width to both the sections now let's add a hover effect for the left and the right sections so let's type main container left colon hover and main container right colon hover and let's set the flex to 2 and we'll also add a transition so that we'll have smooth animation and now let's check whether it works so let's hover over the first section and we can see that the width is changing and let's hover over the second section and the width is changing so that's basically how you create a split design for your home page so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day